everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm working on a new journal and I want to put some coffee filter pockets, maybe some envelopes, maybe uh, um, some belly bands. Anyways, I wanted to show you how versatile um, coffee filters are. And what's really nice is, is coffee filters are very uh, strong. They're very, very thin, but strong because of what they're designed for, right? And uh, they get wet and they don't fall apart, that type of stuff. So it makes it kind of perfect when you want to have a pocket that uh, doesn't take up, a, it doesn't bulk up a lot. And so I'm going to show you a few of the things that you can make with coffee filters. And coffee filters that I'm using today, um, I've got some natural unbleached ones here that I'm using. Also the white ones. And the white ones are great for, as you can see with these, is I sprayed them and they take sprays and color from sprays and uh, dyeing uh, really well because again they're designed for wetness and um, so I'm going to show you a few ways to use them. What is uh, really nice is for instance this pocket here ends up being you can put a tag in here, in the front, because it is such a, right here, it's thin, and then, so you got one there, one here, so let's do it this way. So I have one pocket in the front like that, then I have another pocket behind it, and then there's a third pocket behind that one. Right there. These are not the right uh, size ones, of course. And because uh, I would put a longer one in that pocket. And then when you glue it in, you have another pocket right there. So in the end, you have four pockets in this small po um, pocket here that is not bulky. So that's what I really like about the um, coffee filters. Okay, so, and as you can see, they spray and also take ink really, really well. As I have, uh, Stamp these ones to, for my book here I want to put these in my book and I have a leaf theme going on in this book so let's uh, let's make a couple here to show you what I'm doing so the first thing is this pocket here super simple you basically fold it in half right and then you fold it in half again and depending where you want your pockets how large or how close together or how far apart will be how you fold it and that's all there is to it so you can leave it just like that and you again you got the pocket here And you got a pocket there, um, another pocket right here in the middle, and then a pocket here, and a pocket here. Now in this particular book, I want to have some teared edges on my pockets. So I'm just going to fold it completely in half and tear off some of the end of this. 
and again it all depends how much you tear off and how big your pocket will be so I'm just going to tear just like this because I want the rougher edges in this book The tear edges I think it adds texture is what I'm looking for so I just tear along like that oh I'll take this little bit off this edge there we go and then I will just fold it and I think I want it about here and then you can either glue it or sew it this one here, as you can see, I have sewn it, and I just use a zigzag. But if you were gluing, all you do is just glue it in the one spot at the very bottom. Is you just place whoop, on the shorter pocket, place your glue, just like that. And then fold it over and there I have a pocket a four tag pocket and uh, I am going to sew this for this book because I want it sewn is what I want to do so that's one pocket that you can make now another pocket and let's make it with this one here that you can make is a pocket like this and again I'm going to just gently fold it and I want to have a teared edge on it so oh I see what I did actually I folded it in first before I tore the edges of this one so you just fold it in on one side and uh, the most difficult part of this is making sure to try and get them as even as possible so both sides are basically the same and this one here that's too wide so what I'm going to do is I just bring it in because I want to you can actually put three tags in this one if you overlap which I want to do so I think that would be about right I think so I just gently do that to begin with because I may want to readjust it in the end because I did not bring it in far enough to my liking and I did so I'm good with that so then I just crease down. So you do not have to tear your edges like I did. Um, and you can certainly just glue it. But I sewed, as you can see on this one, I sewed down this side and down this side. And I will do that again. But for the video, all I'm going, whoops, first of all, I want the teared edge. So all I'm going to do is tear along the edge here now I didn't want it inside pockets to be torn because I want them clearly defined and know where I can put my tags and the tags won't catch is what I'm thinking is why I did it that way um, I was thinking if I teared it along here well, I'll show you with this one. So if I teared it along here, I'm, I'm a little concerned that it might catch my tag as it's going in and out, right? So again, I'm just going to glue this and I will sew it later. I just want to show you how simple these pockets are and how easy they are to make yet they are very versatile and they look great in journals and like I said they add zero bulk really 
So there we go. So actually, you could probably put four tags in here. So I'm going to show you. I just have some tags over here that I'll use, for example. Um, so we have one that can go in here, right? And then we have one that can go in. Well, we'll use that for the very front one. And then we can put one in here. So that's two tags we can get in here. Again, these are not, I would layer these tags a lot better than this is for an example. And then you've got a third one you can put in there. So this is, and then when you glue it in, you can glue it just the three sides, right? Into your book. And then you have a fourth pocket so you can put four tags in this one also and what I like is that uh, again no bulk whatsoever all you have for bulk is your tags so that's how that one works and I think it turned out awesome and then if you want to only put three tags it's still gonna look just as good with the two tags like that and then your third one in the back, right? So that's wonderful. So those are two the two pockets that I'm going to be using today. I'm sure there is other pockets that uh, when I experiment, I'm sure I'm going to find. And then the other things that you can do, which are just kind of cool, is what I did with this, and I'm going to put this in this book, is basically it's the coffee filter, and I used it as the cover of this little mini notebook that I made, and I tore the edges again because that's what I'm looking for is a teared edge, and then I just tore the edges of all these papers that I put inside too. But it's strong, and it looks so great, and then... What I did, because again, there's not a lot of bulk, I sewed down the middle. But it, you could uh, you could certainly make a signature, like a pamphlet stitch, and stitch it together that way too. But isn't that a lovely little notebook? And it's going to look so good in this book. Like, I think I'll just clip it in to the book like that is what I'll do and uh, it will look great in this book. So that's another way you can use a coffee filter in your journals. So then there's, uh, well there's the basic, I made an envelope and what I did with this envelope in particular that I most likely will put in this book because of the leaves is this is actually uh, a napkin that was used at uh, Thanksgiving I think and it was so pretty and it goes with the theme of the leaves that I'm doing excuse me I'm just taking a sip of coffee so I made this envelope and all I did was uh, Mod Podge well Actually, what I used was my glue stick, and I glued the um, napkin to the coffee filter and because I knew I was going to be sewing it. Um, but these are both very thin, so I don't see why a glue stick, whether you end up gluing uh, the, the whole thing. And if I glued, I'll show you as I make one. Um, anyways, so if you just glued the, uh, with the glue stick, I think it would be fine. And then if you, I'm going to just make another envelope. I don't know if I'm going to put an envelope into this book, so I'm not going to use these ones. I'll just use a plain one. And again, very easy. It's, be, it's very, very similar to the last pocket we made. 
So you just bring in the side, right? And then bring in the other side where you want it. The, the, again, the biggest challenge is uh, making them even, but so, so easy to correct uh, because of the material you're using. If you end up that your side folds are not quite where you want them, you can certainly just refold them. And I like I like uh, the texture in these coffee filters. And uh, so what I did then is you just fold it up like the ruffle here. Uh, I like that. It adds texture. So then you would just bring up your bottom where you want for your envelope. Again, creasing that and then bring down the top of your of your filter just like that and you formed yourself a nice little envelope right and again with this one I tore the edges because I wanted the torn edges but you certainly don't have to tear the edges as you can see on this one and then you would just glue here glue here what I think I will do is uh, I'm going to I'm I'm just thinking if I want to tear the edges of this one I think I think I will leave them and I actually don't want to leave this plain so I am not going to glue it yet because I may want to put napkin on it or I may want to stamp on it such things as that but what is really nice too and so sorry I will back up so all you do is you would add glue here and here bring it up just like that and secure your envelope like that what I really like too is because of the thinness of this you uh, your envelope as you can see on this one will lay very flat so there's no need for a clip or a closure on these at all because of the way they lay and I love the envelope this envelope is is a wonderful envelope and I really really like that for this journal but that's another thing. So we can do an envelope. Now, another thing you can do is they make wonderful ruffles on the side of a page. Now, isn't that cool? So what you will you do is you just would take one of your um, filters again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half, just slightly. I don't need to have a crease. And, it's, and then I fold it again. And again, I am just doing it very lightly. I don't want to put too much of a crease in it because I don't need to. Okay. And I'm going to be able to use part that I'm not cutting off. So then you just decide you can make these ruffles as long or as short as you would like. So I think I'm going to make a shorter one. So I'm just going to cut around my filter just like that. And then this here, again, you can still use and you could make it into a small pocket or a small envelope or the cover of a notepad like this one here and make it a smaller one and I think that's what I'm going to do with this one is I will make a small notebook with that okay so then I just cut it down one side here 
just like that. And what's so lovely about this is it is naturally going to ruffle up for you because of the design of the water filter or of the coffee filter, right? So then you just glue it along. I'm a little bit crooked on this one and I should, I will straighten that out after. But, um, we'll go this way, I think. Yeah. So I cut that. I'm going to cut another one because I can. And, um, I'm not too happy on how I followed my line around. It's a little bit too crooked for my liking for this particular paper. It'll work on a different designed paper for a different book. But since I want to use this and I did this on this side, I want to do the same on that side. So I'm just going to fold it and then fold it over once again, just like that. And really, you could fold it even one more time and then you've got less to cut, right? And I think I'll try doing it that way and see how it works out. So then you just cut along, I think. I think why, I'm gonna keep it like this, yeah. Sorry, I wouldn't fold it this way because you're going to get too much of a curve in there, I think, is my thought on that. So then I just go around like this. It's because I was, I'm cutting on camera, of course, so my, I can't see it as well, right, because I want to keep on camera. Then when I bring it close. Okay. So we'll try this one and see if I didn't cut it quite so. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't uh, cut it quite so uh, uneven. Okay, so then all you have to do is it will naturally fold for you. Um, I'm just deciding which side I want to put up. Because you can use either side to put on it. And I think I'm going to use this side. Because I want the ruffles to come up like they are over here. If you use this side, they would not bubble as much as lay very flat. Well, not flat, but very differently on the page, right? So... Anyways, I'm going to just uh, cut this and show you how I put it on the page. I'm thinking we should be good to cut it here. That's what I'll do. And then it's quite easy to put on the page. The biggest thing is keeping it as straight as you can. Your line when you're putting the ruffle on and all you do is add some glue here along the edge and then all you do is take your piece of paper and you can start at either end whichever is comfortable for you sometimes being left-handed I do it different than you would see a right-hander do it so I'm going to start at this end. I think. No, I'm going to start at this end. That's what I'm going to do. So then I just lay it on. Just like that. And then just uh, press down the edge at the bottom. Try and keep it as straight as you can. Meaning the edge as straight as you can. And then see how it's just naturally uh, ruffling for you. It's just the nature of the paper to ruffle up. So I just go along and uh, that one I 
There we go. And so you just put it down like that. And then where you want your ruffles, if you want them to be really, really standing out, you would make this closer together like that, or you can stretch them out a little. It's totally up to you how you want to do it. So there we go. It's as simple as that, right? And uh, I, I uh, probably should have cut this a little bit longer and bring my folds in so it looked more like this but that's okay I was just doing it quickly on here just to show you how easy it is to do and then if there's any that are sticking out I just trim it up on the side like that and there you go now aren't those just so cute on a page right to edge your page with it is so cute. And then, of course, like I said, you can make them longer. You can make them shorter. Um, and as you can see on this one, I brought, I, I made bigger ruffles on this side than I did on this side. This one is more rougher, not so even, and I just let it flow on is what I did on that side. So there you go, you can make some ruffles. So one more thing I've been doing is I made a belly band out of it. So, and it is a, like a double pocketed belly band. Let me get some things here so you can see. So. You would have your belly band coming under here, right, as you glued it to the page. But you can also insert, like a bookmark, for instance. You can insert right in the middle like that of it. And then you can also insert either a tag or two bo another bookmark, but it has two pockets on your belly band. Isn't that cool? So then you would have your your tag under your belly band. I know these colors are not matching at the moment, but then you have your bookmark coming uh, through this one, and then a tag or a bookmark, whichever you want to use. And so you have three in one there. I think that's really cute. And so it's pretty easy too to do. There is just one thing that I wanted to show you that uh, will help with making this belly band. What I have done is you fold it in. So what I'm doing is I'm basically folding it. Uh, the ruffles come to this circle here. So just for a guidance, I'm folding it in this way, right to the end of the circle in the middle. And that's just to give me uh, a pl an eye place to go. And then I fold in on this side, this way. And then I just make sure both ends are pretty even, just like that. That's how I will fold it. And then when I have that folded, like such, and again, this one here, the ruffles is out of it. And I think it's because I might have sprayed this. But you certainly don't need to do that. You can also iron them if you want. Um, but uh, now what I do is I take and I reverse these. Because I'm sewing this. And I want to be able to catch the end of this 
with my sewing machine when I sew around it. So it catches this and uh, secures it for me. Now, you could certainly just glue this. There is no reason you couldn't just glue along here. But again, I'm just sewing it. I like, I like the looks of the sewing. So what I did was before I sewed it together, I just took, because I have my line right here that I can see from folding, and I stitched around the outer circle here, as you can see, just to uh, give it that look of sewing before I put it down and form it back into its belly band and then I sewed along here and along this edge and I used a zigzag as you can see on this one and again uh, this one I did not tear the edges but you could tear your edges it's totally up to you so I think that was all I needed I wanted to show you today and I'm working in this journal and I'm going to put several of these different ones in this journal. So you can do a belly band that has two pockets on the front, just like this one. And it works so well. And again, no bulk, really, with these. Or you can make a notebook just like this and basically I just cut around I'm not cut I tore around to the size of the uh, cover that I wanted and what was I think we I had a piece here that I said I was going to use can't remember where I put it now but anyways you where you tear it will determine the the um, how large of a cover you want to have. Then we did the, uh, you can use it as ruffles, which uh, are really cute. And again, you can dye these any color you want. Uh, sprays I find work best on these is, is some colored sprays. And it doesn't take a lot of the spray because it absorbs it very quickly. So we did the ruffles, and then we did the this pocket here, right? And it has four pockets. And uh, the other thing about that would be, you can also, like I folded it, and I'm gonna edge this so you can see the edge of the pockets well, but I could have folded this uh, oh, I glued that one, so I can't show you on there. So, what I could do is I can also fold them, right, so that it is basically even with this one. Just like that, and make it into one pocket. I would just uh, uh, glue them all together, and you could just have one pocket. You could glue the two middle ones together, and have a pocket here and a pocket here, a three pocket. So um, there really is some different ways that you can do the same pocket. And uh, all you have to do is glue it for what you wish to have. Or you could glue this together and this together. So you just have the pocket inside and the back pocket, right? So... There's that one, and then we did this one here, which again, we glued together, but it it uh, has the three pockets, right? Or four pockets, so you can what? A tag here, tag here, another tag here, and then your back tag, right? And then there's a tag here. So you have four pockets, or you can just put a one here and then just use that one and the back one and you have a three pocket 
and you could even uh, if you choose to do the three pockets you could glue these two in here together on the edge if that's what you wanted to do so then we had one more we had the uh, envelope right and again very simple it's just the technique of folding it right is what it is all about and then we had the ruffles and we had the envelope I can't find where I put that oh there's the envelope that I I didn't want to decorate yet because I don't know where I'm going to use it and then we had the belly band so that's it for today guys and I just wanted to show you some of the ways that you can use a coffee filter and they're very inexpensive and you can find them almost any grocery store or dollar store that they're just accessible everywhere and they're something different and unique in your crafting world for your journals so I hope you enjoyed that and that uh, I showed you some things that you may utilize in your own journals and we will see you soon and please don't forget to like and subscribe uh, press that notification bell and it'll let you know when I'm putting up a new video and you all have a lovely lovely day and a crafty kind of day and we will see and talk to you soon bye for now